in the given figure two medians PD and QE. See PD is a median. So here I can say D is the midpoint of QR. And next QE is a median. So E is the midpoint of PR. So here meet each other at O prove that triangle POQ triangle POQ is similar to triangle DOE this one triangle POQ this triangle is similar to this triangle so to prove this similar see I have already like vertically opposite angle so we need one more angle because sides information we don't have so what I'll do is here this one E is the midpoint of PR, D is the midpoint of QR. So I'll take triangles P, R, Q, or you can take from here R, P, Q in triangle R, P, Q. So we can say clearly that E and D are midpoints. So in triangle R, P, Q. E or you can write directly instead of respectively. E is the midpoint of E is the midpoint of E is the midpoint of RP and D is the midpoint of D is the midpoint of RQ. Here I can write DE is parallel to PQ and DE is half of PQ. This two because of midpoint theorem. Midpoint theorem. A line joining the midpoint of two sides here. A line joining the midpoints of two sides is parallel to third side, and exactly this line will be half of this one. Now, now as these lines are parallel, DE is parallel to PQ. I'll prove two triangles now. Triangle POQ, triangle DOE. In POQ, see we have angle 1, here angle 2, see angles they are forming in the Z shape, interior alternate angles. So angle 1 equals angle 2, interior alternate angles. If you want you can write because DE is parallel to PQ. And just you can write interior alternate angles, but if you want, you can write PD is a transversal. PD is a transversal. Now, here next angle POQ, and just write vertically opposite numbers, you can do numbers. Angle 3 equals angle 4. Vertically opposite angles. So triangle POQ. Write in full form. Here I am writing short. Triangle POQ is similar to triangle DOE. By angle angle similarity. Now if I write sides proportional for this. PO by D O P O by D O equals O Q by O E equals P Q by D E. Now see you want relation between P O and D O here. You want relation between P O and D O and you know already about P Q and D E. You know about PQ and DE here. 
already you got d e is half of p q or you can write p q is twice d e you can write this one so here what i'll do p o p o by d o here instead of p q i'll write 2 d e 2 d e by d e because p q is twice d e now here d e and d e will get cancelled so p o is twice o d or d o i'll write o d yeah this sounds second part you got it p o is twice o d this is the second answer Fine. Now the third part. I need to prove the third part. If you observe the third one, P O is two by three P D. Here, see, P O is this part, but P D is the full length. See, when you need the full length, so here, right? P O by O D. P O by O D is two. You can write two by one. Now do inverted now here. To get the full part, full part means here like PD. To get the full one. So what I'll do is, I'll write inverted no, reciprocal. POD by PO is 1 by 2. Is 1 by 2. Now I'll do component adding one on both sides adding one on both sides now see here i'll get here o lcm is po lcm is po here so here od plus po lcm is 2 so 1 plus 2. Now if you observe the diagram, OD, this length, plus PO. OD plus PO will be like PD here. PD by PO is 3 by 2. If you want, you can do invert and or you can cross multiply. Because see, you want PO at the top. So PO by p d is 2 by 3 so p o length is 2 by 3 times p d this is the third proof so in this way we need to simplify thank you for watching please subscribe my channel